If I ever see Tony Tan, but one question for him, does your hair move? Because it's like a helmet, right? Hi, I'm Kuma. I'm um, a comedian. That's one of the beauty surprises that it can take you anywhere. You like your mind wrong. Why do you say one thing leads to another? I think people are always worried about tomorrow, you know? I mean, I've come to an age where I don't want to worry about tomorrow, I don't want to worry about today, you know? And small things like they're all worried, oh, you know, will I have money tomorrow? You're not even, in this time and day, you're not even sure whether you'll be alive tomorrow, you know? So, as long as you have enough money, you know, be happy, you don't stress, you know? Everybody's so stressed now. <laughs> the, the, heart attack, the heart attack rate has gone to a smaller age group now, like younger age. Yeah, everybody's so stressed. There's so much pressure, you know, and I think people should learn to relax, you know. Um, it, pressure's always there, but people are just bringing it to a higher ground, the pressure. But I'm so pressured, I'm so stressed, I, I, I don't know what to do, you know. I think it is, people should just think, just think things through. Triple T. The chances are very slim, but if it happens, then it's, it's, it's happening for a reason. Everything happens for a reason, so I'm, I'm not prepared yet. But if it happens, then it'd be good because I would like to be a uh, people's person, speak for the public, you know, try and understand. Now, because everybody's, even the ministers are coming out to talk to the public, and there are a lot of a lot, a lot of other problems, not just about buying a house or personally as, as a Singaporean, there are personal problems, you know, and we, the government don't look into that, you know, and a lot of people are uh, suffering inside, you know, we're killing each other by ourselves inside, slowly, slowly we are dying, we're, we're, we're dying with the culture, we're dying with our motivations, we're just, we're just studying and working and we don't even know where we're heading to, you know, but I believe everybody's born for a reason, you know, and if, if, if you haven't found the reason and then don't take too long. It is not easy, but nowadays I see a lot of drag queens out there, the younger ones, they are really, really getting out of hand, you know. We always try and educate the people, the public, that um, drag queen is not a disease. But a lot of the young ones nowadays, I won't, I, I, I've seen, I mean, they are the good ones. But the not so good ones, they do make it sound like it's a disease. The way they behave, you know, the way, just being gay, like, you don't even have to be a drag queen, just being gay. You know, I, I, I have to know where my parameters are. You know, I cannot wear, I mean, I, sh I shouldn't walk around wearing men's clothes and high heels. Like. You know, and they do that. They go to discos like that, you know, or, or wearing like him and carrying a Chanel bag. You know, I mean, what are you trying to prove here? You know? And if I go to a straight bar and if I wear like that, the straight people look, oh, it is a disease. What is this? You know, and the young really don't care. You know, they don't know what they're doing to affect, and they want, a, and they want the acceptance. They want the the, the three 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 seven seven eight to be taken out as the law and all that. Why? You want that? You show them that we all have brains. I do, I do. My hair is, um, I don't wash myself, so I go to the saloon every other day. And um, I take care of my skin, I do facials every once a month. And I do, I wax my whole body every once a month. I, I use, I still order skin product only. And my makeup is sponsored by MAC. So, um, yeah. And, yeah, and be happy. I think when you are, when you are happy, it shows in your face and you always look younger. Um, it's my 20th in this business, so I came out with a book to commemorate the, my, 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 my whole career, my life and all that. Uh, so that when I reach 60, I can remember that I did a book at 40. Um, and I think people all should do that. I mean, if you are, if, if you have, if you've gone through a lot of obstacles, I think it's high time to let people know that it's not been a bit of roses. Huh? So that's why I came up with it. I want people to understand the real me. Huh? You know, people must understand the real me. And uh, everything else is just a facade.
you know, but there's, there is a real person in this whole behind the dress and the makeup. I really don't know. I'm very busy now, so I will think about uh, next year because I'm too busy now. But so many things in my mind. I'm, I'm doing two plays. I'm doing TV show. I'm, you know, I'm doing three stage pro productions and I'm doing a TV show. So I'm in the midst of recording and we are seeing. So hang in there. Surprise on the way. I think what pisses me off is just generally the, the misconception that people have, the things they take it for granted. Uh, Singaporeans are very pampered and we still complain and we never stop complaining. I think all these small small things pisses me off, you know, because I think we are very lucky, very very lucky, but we don't see it, you know. So this really pisses me off. I'm, I'm very happy with the way it is now. I think I will never look back. I think it's perfect where it is now and um, there's no regrets but it comes with life. Regrets are part of our life, you know, uh, revelations are part of our life, turning point is part of our life. So um, I, will not, I will not change anything. I'm, I'm blessed and I'm very lucky so I should not complain.